Hey, good morning, everyone. Al, John Williams' dad. John William came over for, for a visit to bring me some some zucchini and some cantaloupes, and uh, I wanted to show him and you all my uh, garden. I got my uh, 100 heirloom tomato plants here that are coming along. Uh, I got about five or six different heirlooms in here. Um, pineapples, purple Cherokees, mortgage lifters, various things, and they're probably going to start getting ripe this week. Uh, but the real thing I'm really proud of that I wanted to show John William is my birdhouse gourd patch. I've always liked birdhouse gourds from the time I was a little kid. I always find it fascinating to see a gourd hanging in a tree with a bird making a nest in it. I don't know, it's kind of a homey thing. So off and on through my 60 years, uh, I've raised birdhouse gourds. But this year I put more effort into it than I ever have. Uh, on my property here in Rappahannock, I have a big stand of bamboo along my stream that keeps uh, erosion down. And I, I use that in gardening, as you see here. I use bamboo stakes here, some for the tomatoes and different things. And the nice thing about them, they're, they're very hard, easy to drive in the ground. And then at the end of the year, I come in with my big tractor mount rototiller and actually chop them right up and, and they ride over the winter and next spring I start over again with a pretty good cleanup. So I use these uh, bamboos in my uh, gourd uh, harbors. So here's my birdhouse gourd patch. So um, what I did here, these are all birdhouse gourds and uh, I went to the co-op and got a couple stock panels, four of them, and put them at different places. And they were a little expensive, so then I went down and cut all this bamboo. And on the panels, I put poles up to the panels, and then I put uh, cut the bamboo any place from 16 to 24 feet long and tied it to the poles that ran up to the panels and made this harbor here for the uh, gourds to run over. Now, these gourds have, have done all this in the last 10 days. Uh, so they really like it and they run all over this place and, and you see their flowers, they're blooming now. Uh, we got a white flower and they're blooming. We have great rain this week and see here we got little gourds coming on now. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll monitor this gourd right here for, for you all. Next time John William comes back, we'll, we'll take a photograph to see how big that sucker is then. Right now, it's barely two inches long and um, so we'll watch that one, but the gourds are really running. And sometimes what I do is that I walk through here and if I see a gourd vine that's heading to the ground, I point it back up and send it back up to Harbor to let it uh, grow. And the whole object is, is to get as many gourds as possible uh, to, to form at the top of the harbors where they got great distance to, to hang down. Uh, at the height here, it's, it's approaching around five feet. So hopefully this fall, um, I'll have some birdhouse gourds in here that will be five feet long. Um, and hopefully maybe out of this mix that I have here, hopefully I'll, I'll get maybe a hundred gourds off of this. Um, but I'm really happy with these. It's been dry, a little bit dry. And uh, I have watered them a little bit every other day, but this week, I got some really great rain. We got about four inches here, it's fantastic. So uh, I don't have to water them for, for a long time. But uh, they really look good. And uh, this is the nicest, nicest gourd patch I've ever had. Um, so I'm pretty excited and, and I'll keep you all informed on how everything goes with them. You can see here is a little gap where I didn't fill in a little section. And uh, you can see how they're, they've just gone over everything here. And um, put a little fertilizer on them, 5, 10, 10, when they were still small, a couple inches high. And I think that fertilizer is kicking in pretty well on them. So here's a vine here that's kind of headed to the ground. I'm going to try to redirect him back up, up into the top of the harbor and uh, so he can have more room. But these, you can see the runners on, on, these, on these vines. They really love to run. And uh, it takes about five minutes of care every day to take care of these babies, to get them to do what you want to do. But, uh, 
They're a lot of fun. It's great to watch your progress on, on what happens. So anyway, these are my squash that I pick every day for my store in Warrington. You see, I use more bamboo up there on those heirlooms there and uh, makes a nice harbor and lets uh, sunlight into them pretty well. So anyway, I just wanted to share my gourds with you. Uh, have a nice weekend.